Hello everyone. Africa's expansive savannas, an untouched forest host an array of wildlife, yet the baboon stands out as both majestic and divisive. In South Africa, for instance, the Shakma baboon population exceeds 200 and moving north to the East African savannas, all of baboons are equally prevalent, with their numbers reaching several hundred thousand. The sight of their massive herds can astonish any observer. In urban areas like Cape Town, it's become common to see baboons darting across streets, frequently causing significant traffic disruptions. Motorists are often forced to decelerate or halt entirely to dodge these agile creatures. Their unexpected crossings not only lead to traffic snarls, but also heighten the risk of accidents, particularly during peak travel times. On the Cape Peninsula, baboon troops have become notorious for raiding vineyards, orchards, and crops inflicting substantial damage on agricultural produce and infrastructure. Their presence is influenced by various factors such as environmental conditions, food sources, and human interactions, leading to varying levels of conflict across different African regions. The issue extends beyond mere nuisances. In their quest for sustenance, baboons have turned highly aggressive. In tourist-heavy areas, these animals not only scavenge for food, but engage in outright thievery, sparking intense confrontations, particularly in East Africa, near national parks and urban centers. They boldly challenge both tourists and residents, occasionally inflicting severe injuries. What are your thoughts on managing the wild pig population here? If you think it's necessary, press 1. If you disagree, press 0 in the comments to share your view. In response to the challenges posed by baboons, Africans have devised innovative and humane solutions. Among these, electric fences stand out, not just as mere barriers but as complex systems designed to outsmart these intelligent primates. Trapping is another crucial strategy in managing baboon populations. Typically, a large cage trap is employed, approximately 6 feet long, 3 feet wide, and 4 feet high. This size is strategically chosen to accommodate an adult baboon, which can weigh between 14 and 40 kilograms depending on the species and sex, allowing them ample space without feeling confined. This careful consideration helps reduce stress and injury risk during capture making the process both effective and more ethical.
By utilizing traps, farmers not only protect vital agricultural resources but also ensure the welfare and health of the animals, thus reducing conflicts and fostering a harmonious and sustainable relationship between wilderness and agriculture. This approach represents a progressive chapter in the long-standing interaction between humans and nature. As interactions between baboons and agricultural communities increase, a variety of management strategies have become necessary. One significant method involves surgical interventions on female baboons, specifically tubal ligation. This procedure involves either removing or blocking the fallopian tubes, effectively sterilizing the baboon and preventing conception. However, tubal ligation is complex and involves capturing the animals and administering sedatives which carries inherent risks to both the baboons and the handlers. Under the supervision of wildlife experts, veterinary teams typically perform these surgeries in temporary field clinics established near the baboon's habitats. Precision in each procedure is crucial, not only for the technique itself, but also to ensure a quick recovery and release of the baboons back into their natural environment, minimizing their time away from the wild Hunting baboons with air guns is a method steeped in tradition yet demands great precision. These air guns, often crafted from natural materials like wood or hollow bamboo, have been utilized by indigenous tribes for centuries. Despite their rudimentary design, in skilled hands, these guns become effective hunting tools. The technique involves forcefully blowing into the gun's tube to propel a dart typically coated with a tranquilizer or poison toward the target. The use of a blowgun allows hunters to approach their target silently, minimizing disturbance to the baboons and enhancing the likelihood of a successful hunt. This method promotes a more peaceful coexistence with the baboons rather than seeking their complete eradication. However, it is crucial for hunters to operate within legal bounds, ensuring they possess the necessary licenses and hunting permits issued by the government. Eager to hear your thoughts on the various measures Africans have implemented to manage the baboon challenge we've discussed. What do you think about these methods? Please share your opinions in the comments section below. In Texas, wild pigs aren't just a nuisance. They represent a significant threat to agriculture and biodiversity. The state is currently grappling with an overwhelming population of approximately 3 million wild boars. These feral hogs inflict substantial damage on the agricultural sector, with losses estimated add up to $52 annually. This devastation is primarily due to their explosive reproductive rates. Sows can begin breeding before they're a year old and may produce four to six piglets per litter per year under favorable conditions. As a result, the impact on agriculture is increasingly severe.
In response, Texas hunters have adopted two main strategies to manage this burgeoning wild pig populace. The use of shotguns and aerial hunting from helicopters. In this intense battle against the wild boar invasion across Texas farms, shotguns are favored for their effectiveness in close quarters, proving to be a decisive tool in managing the invasive swine In the hunting world, the 12-gauge shotgun is a favorite among professionals for its effective target neutralization especially when loaded with heavy SG or SG shot. In the expansive open fields of Texas, mobility is key to effectively managing feral hog populations. All-terrain vehicles and specialized trucks, often equipped with shotguns, are essential tools for hunters and land managers these vehicles enable the teams to cover large areas quickly, allowing for swift detection and approach to groups of wild pigs, streamlining the management efforts in these challenging environments. ATVs are highly valued for their ability to handle challenging terrains, overcome obstacles, and power through muddy or uneven surfaces, conditions typical of wild boar habitats. Additionally, they provide a stable platform for shooting, although this demands skill and caution. This approach was proven effective in a recent incident where a team of four successfully halted a herd of about 20 wild boars attempting to breach a perimeter fence by utilizing ATVs for agile maneuvering and shotguns for effective control. The team prevented serious crop damage that could have resulted in thousands of dollars in losses. However, the shotgun's efficacy in cleanly and humanely dispatching feral hogs is limited to a range of under 50 yards. Beyond this, the spread of shotgun pellets increases significantly reducing lethality and necessitating closer proximity to these potentially dangerous animals, thus heightening the risk of a hazardous encounter. In Texas, encounters with aggressive feral hogs are a known risk, particularly when the animals, even if only slightly wounded by a shotgun, can become extremely aggressive and pose a serious threat to hunters. Do you think wild boars are aggressive creatures? If you agree, please press 1. If not, press 0 in the comment section below to share your thoughts. To mitigate potential risks, hunters have innovatively employed helicopters, revolutionizing the control of wild boar populations. From the air, these aircraft facilitate a dynamic and effective hunting method, particularly in areas where the presence of wild boars threatens agriculture and biodiversity. Light helicopters, such as the Robinson R-44 and Hughes MD-500, are favored for their agility and low-altitude flying capabilities, making them excellent choices for hunting missions. These helicopters offer flexible maneuverability and expansive visibility, crucial for spotting and pursuing mobile targets. The R-44 is especially popular due to its cost efficiency and capacity to carry up to four individuals, ideal for small group hunting expeditions. Thank you. 
Selecting the appropriate weapons for aerial hunting is critical for ensuring both accuracy and safety. The Dot 2 Rate 212 3 caliber R15 is highly favored for aerial hunting due to its lightweight, precision, and ease of maneuverability within the confined space of a helicopter. To enhance safety during operations, firearms are often securely mounted using specially designed brackets and straps. Helicopters offer unparalleled speed and agility, enabling hunters to efficiently oversee and manage vast and rugged terrains, far surpassing the capabilities of traditional ground vehicles. Moreover, this method significantly lowers the risk of dangerous encounters with aggressive wildlife. Indeed, while helicopters provide an effective means for managing wild boar populations, the cost associated with their use can be prohibitive. Renting a helicopter for hunting purposes can range from $500 to $2,000 per hour, not including the necessary expenses for pilots, fuel, and maintenance. This makes aerial hunting an expensive venture, often out of reach for many small landowners or local government agencies without adequate funding. Additionally, the high drama associated with helicopter hunting can draw unwanted media attention, potentially swaying public opinion negatively and leading to legal repercussions. Regardless of the chosen method, each comes with its unique advantages and limitations. Therefore, hunters must be well-versed in and adhere to state regulations to ensure that their activities are not only successful but also conducted ethically. It's crucial to select a hunting method that aligns with the actual conditions of the environment and fits within one's budget to maximize efficiency while minimizing adverse impacts on nature and wildlife. Which method do you prefer for managing wild boar populations? Using shotguns or helicopters? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. We look forward to engaging with you in our next video.